The Bumblebee is a, a small wireless system that we have developed for recording biosignals. The heart of the Bumblebee is a single silicon integrated circuit. This is a chip that's just a couple millimeters on a side, but this chip contains about 10,000 transistors. These are individual devices used for amplification, computation, and communication. We've assembled this all onto a small printed circuit board that's powered from a small watch battery. When you put this all together, that is what the, the Bumblebee is. The thing that we're really proud about uh, with the Bumblebee is that we've integrated a lot of new technologies together onto a single chip. We have a new mechanism for amplifying signals that consumes very little power. In addition, we have a new type of radio that we've integrated onto this chip that consumes very low amounts of power and consumes a very small amount of space on this printed circuit board. This makes the system very small. We can power it from a small battery and it lasts for a long period of time. The concept for the Bumblebee really came out of collaborations that we've had with other people on campus who had the need to do recording from the brain and from the body, and there simply were not the tools available to do this kind of research. Brian Otis and Chet Moritz and I have put together a new therapy technique. It's actually taking an older technique and applying new technology to it to bring it to the therapeutic world for individuals with movement disorders such as stroke traumatic brain injury and cerebral palsy. With the help of Brian Otis and his wireless electrodes, we use signals recorded from muscles which may be impaired. So the process itself is actually already helping some people to move their hands better. We hope to understand the neural mechanisms behind that recovery as well as deliver an effective therapy. So really what we developed is a, is a research tool. Over the course of around three years or so, we've developed core technologies that make a really useful tool and we've realized that we can apply it to applications beyond uh, simply research. I'm actually very enthusiastic about what Brian has put together with this Bumblebee technology. I think that we are at the beginnings of a uh, revolution in wireless sensor networks. There uh, is a lot of interest in uh, the energy field, in monitoring uh, energy distribution systems, in national security opportunities, and even in uh, personal and home applications for wireless sensor networks. And I think Brian has the smarts and has developed some technology that could have really wide applications. We're really a team that is there to help Brian figure out how he can take the, the, what he's done, which is fantastic research, and turn it into a business. C4C has, has really helped us a lot, especially in terms of doing patent searches, staking out what the uh, patent landscape looked like for the technologies that we were working with. And one of the things that was impressive is their ability to quickly get up to speed on the advanced technologies that we were inventing. I think of C4C as kind of a catch-all for any type of issue related to commercializing our professor's technology. Working with Mike Clark has been, has been wonderful. He's helped us in a, in a variety of different areas. One of them is helping us gain access to C4C funding. The other is helping us with our IP protection strategy. Um, thirdly, he's helped us form connections with people in the region. Brian and I talk frequently on at least a weekly basis. The issues can be widely varied. It can be getting funding for the next stage of their development. It might be the latest business idea or exploring new markets for their technology. My work here with Brian and some of the other researchers uh, is a testament to the progress the Center for Commercialization has made in the last several years in, in developing the capabilities of the UW as an engine for new companies. This opportunity for Brian to learn about forming a business um, is a fantastic experience, a great tool in his professional toolbox. He'll be able to help other students that he's working with think about businesses that they may want to start. So uh, hopefully this whole experience not only will see Bumblebee technology that he's developed uh, come to life in the real world, but will also add to his abilities to mentor and to teach students here about business. I'm really fortunate that I am doing my dream job. I get to come in every day, work with excited students, and work with collaborators across the campus and, and across the region to do things that nobody has ever done before.